how's camp? How how did camp go for you? you guys? Are pretty much out of it now. I feel like it was a good camp. You know, we got new people in, new new diverse positions. You know, Jaheim, Kyle, they do different different amount of things. And Preston, you know, no respect for me, but I feel like it's been a good camp. You know, everybody got better as a team individually too. You guys like different kind of body types and different skill sets. You think that's an advantage for you guys? Uh, I do because I feel like we all can play the same position, but you know, like me, I'll be better in line than perimeter, but I can do that too. And Zaheem can do it all, really. Kyle can do it all. Like, I feel like you will never know what to expect when we line up. And like, if I go in the perimeter or if I go in line, it could be a pass, also a run, and we can we do that great. Basketball background maybe help you when you're going downfield and you got a chance to bring the ball one handed, for example. I feel like mostly when I play basketball, I really didn't box out for rebounds. I just jump for them. You know? Like that one hand is like grabbing the ball. Like my hands are large, so I feel like it transfers good. Like even gripping the ball, like the basketball is way bigger than the football, so you know, I feel like it, it translated good. You, you, you've added a little bit more weight. This year, it looked like uh, based on the roster, it looked like you might got a little bit bigger and stronger. Yeah, was that how's that how's that been for you? I feel like I still can operate the same as 275 and 280. You know, I feel like from my, from 270 to 285, like I still operate the same. You know, but I got I know I beefed up a little bit doing all summer camp, all fall camp, spring. You know, I feel like I got a lot stronger. It looks like your speed's still the same, right? Yeah, yeah. Really, I think I think my speed always is gonna be there. It don't matter what weight, like 280. 260, I feel like. But 260, I might move well, better in routes, you know, but I like playing that from 270 to 280 and 265. Like, I like that way. Good way to do it. Nickname still appropriate, or, or do you want to kind of shed that, maybe? Really, I don't really say too much when they say it. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't push it away, but, like, I embrace it a little bit, but I ain't going to call myself a bitch because I still call myself Marquise. <laughs> yeah, so th this offense, the, all the weapons, you talked about some of the weapons you guys brought in tight end, but you know, Keon and I mean, so many guys on this offense, how exciting is it to, to just look around at all these playmakers? Oh, it's great because nobody can get double team. You know, one-on-ones, we all gonna have one-on-ones across the board. You know, you can't double team though. The outside receiver lead a slot by themselves and we still can work one-on-ones, you know. So I love it. It's gonna open up the field a lot for, for everybody, really. You, like, I, you know, from where you were when you got here, like, I mean, you did, I mean, you were new to football, really. Do you ever think back at how far you've come? I always like I can see the progress in myself from like even from last year I feel like this year I took a, another step even with Jordan Wilson and Cam you know was here like I feel like I was learning from now then the next year I grew a little bit now I grew a little bit more so I feel like it's all been a good development and coach Yak talked about how coming out of high school like a lot of schools weren't even looking at you really because you hadn't played much I mean what's your relationship with him like uh, Coach Zach, my dog, every time he was, you know, he was at Tennessee when he was recruiting Darion, he used to always come to the school and talk to us, you know, I always had a connection with him. Was it like working with Coach Thompson on a daily basis? Uh, you really, really never know what to expect. Some days he might just be cool, calm, and some days he might just be crazy, he might act crazy, have like too much coffee, like, you never know what to expect, but he's a good coach, I love him. Competition been like between you know the tight ends and receivers going up against the defensive backfield and linebackers throughout camp. Seems like you guys have been really getting after it. Yeah, like that's something I, I do every day when I come back to knees. I just talk crap to the linebackers. You know, I love the competition. Like the young guys, they even know how to how to bring it. Like I I feel like competition bring the best out of everybody. Now being really the most experienced tight end that Florida State's bringing back. You know, being a guy that's been here for a couple of years, what's it like kind of stepping into a little bit of a leadership role now? I feel like it's just natural. It came natural because, you know, everybody knows what to expect from everybody. Like, we, we all got our roles, and we're always going to try to do them to the best of our abilities. When when guys were deciding to come back, I mean, you guys had a lot of guys that could have left last year to go to the league. Um, just when did you realize how many guys were going to be coming back and how loaded this team might be able to be? Uh, mo really, I already knew because, like, you know, we stayed, we stayed working out, and everybody was coming back. You know, everybody, like, this is our chance to really do something big. Like, this is the year. Like, we had a good year. This is going to be a better year this year.